Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're ready for some Junk Wax era hockey cards. We'll be looking at the 10 most expensive that sold on eBay in the last week. Got a pretty awesome top 10 here for you, and got a nice set of bonus listings at the end as well. You definitely don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end. Criteria for the list is up on the screen. I haven't made any changes, so we'll get right into the good stuff. All right, in the 10th spot from 1990 score Canadian, we have Martin Brodeur's rookie card, graded PSA 10. This card sold for $195.50. It's a pop of 617 in a gem mint slab. And boxes of 1990 score Canadian sell for around 10 to 15 bucks. Moving on, we have a tie for the 8th spot. First up from 1990 Upper Deck, we have Pavel Bure's Young Guns Rookie Card graded gem in PSA 10 and sold for $200. The record for this card is $254 from April of 2021, and it can be found in high series boxes of 1990 Upper Deck, which have recently sold for around $25 to $30. Bucks. This card in gem and slabs a pop of $979. Also in that 8th spot, from 1988 Tops, we have Wayne Gretzky's sweater card graded mint PSA 9. And this card also sold for $200. That's definitely one of the highest mint PSA 9 sales in a while. Not sure if the sale will actually go through. That seems to be a bit higher than the rest. However, it showed up in Terror Peak and 130point.com, so it seems like a legit eBay sale. It's a pop of 493 in a mint slab, and there are 68 higher graded gem in PSA 10s. Boxes of 1988 tops sell for around 450 up to $600 for BBC certified boxes. In the number 7 spot from 1990 Pro Set, we have Wayne Gretzky graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold for $202.50. That's a record high, with the previous high being $200 from last month. And it's a pop of 32 in a gem mint slab, and boxes of 1990 Pro Set sell for around 15 to 20 bucks. Gretzky, this Gretzky card is found in uh, Series 1. In the number 6 spot from 1991 Upper Deck, we have the Brett Hall Heroes Autograph Card, number to 2500 in raw condition, and sold for $250. This chase card is found in low series boxes of 91 Upper Deck, which have recently sold for around $10 to $20. From 1992 Tops, we have the Martin Brodeur gold parallel graded gem in PSA 10 so for $275 that's a record sale the previous high was $206 from December of 2021 so not too long ago and it's a pop of only eight in a gem mint slab boxes of 1992 tops sell for around 30 to 50 dollars and the gold parallel cards are inserted one per pack so I've added this one to the list of eBay search results that I have in the description below. There are eBay affiliate links that will take you directly to search results for any of the boxes in the top 10 plus a bunch of other ones that I've been adding over the last several videos. So check those out in the description below if you're interested in any of these sets or boxes. In the 4th spot from 1990 Opeachy Premier, we have Yamari Yager's Rookie Card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold for $325. Pop of this card is up to $3,070, which is up almost $40 in the last month. Take a look at the Market Movers chart here, showing the growth in the PSA 10 pop report in the last 365 days. It's up 324 so an increase of 12% in the last year. Wow. That's a lot of cards coming back in Gem Mint PSA 10 slabs. So if that trend continues, I wouldn't be surprised to see this card continue. I have downward pressure on that uh, PSA 10 price. Boxes of 1990 OPG Premier sell for around 265 to 300 bucks. All right, let's see what we have in the top three. First up from 1990 Pro Set, we have the Stanley Cup Hologram chase card number to 5,000 and graded a PSA 6. This card sold for $650. A 
That's a record sale for a PSA 6. The previous I was $500 from April of 2018. It's a pop of 20, and there are 17 graded higher, with the highest being one PSA 8.5. The Stanley Cup hologram chase cards are found in Series 1 boxes of 1990 Pro Set, which sell for around 15 to 20 bucks. In the number two spot from 1989 Opeachy, we have Joe Sackick's rookie card, graded Gem Min PSA 10, so for $796. The record's $1,170 from January of 2022, and it's a pop of 269 in a Gem Mint slab. And boxes of 89 Opeachy sell for around $80 to $110. And top of the list this week in the number one spot from 1990 Pro Set, we have Yamri Yager's rookie card graded a pristine BGS 10. This is the copy with stats on the back unaligned, so the header on the stats is unaligned, and it sold for $1,400. Subgrades were 10 for centering corners surface and a 9.5 for edges. It's a pop of four in a pristine slab, and there's no higher black label. So this one here with the stats unaligned is the more common copy. The corrected version with everything lined up is more rare. And the Beckett Pop Report, there's actually a, quite a bit of a difference in what's been submitted and graded. There's a 10% difference between the more common and the more rare version. And the highest graded of the corrected version is a Mint BGS 9. So this Yager rookie card can be found in Series 2 boxes of 90 Pro Set, which sell for around 15 to 20 bucks. All right, that's it for the top 10. Time to take a look at our Market Movers Junk Wax Hockey Index. So we've had some downward pressure over the last few weeks, and it continues this week. Our index is down to 99.1, the first time that hockey has dipped below that 100 mark, which is our base case of January 6th. So the index is made up of 21 cards. Here's the list of cards that make it up currently. And we'll take a look at the biggest increases since last week. So the 1990 OPG Premier of Wayne Gretzky. It was one of our biggest drops from January 6th to last week. And then since March 28th to now, it's actually gone from 62.85. Then there was a sale up uh, 84 bucks, so it's an increase of 33.65 percent. So getting a little bit closer to that January 6th mark. And the second spot is the 1990 OPG Premier Yamri Yager rookie card. So we're uh, from 275 up to 312.66. So we saw that sale in the top 10 at 325. The market movers app when there's multiple sales in a day, it takes an average. So that's why. We get the 312.66, but that's up 13.69% from last week. However, when you take a look at that graph that I showed you showing the huge increase in pop count, and it's actually up 40 in the last month, so more than one new PSA 10 per day. So assuming some of those are making it to the market, I could see a little bit of downward pressure on this price. So I could see this one slipping back under that $300 mark. But you never know. I could be wrong. There could be increased demand. But usually when the supply jumps up that much, you get a little bit of weakening. 1990 score Canadian Eric Lindros Futures Superstar. So this one, January 6th, was 53 bucks. Last week it was down to 47 And now we had to sell it back to 53 So we're back to even on where we were at January 6th. And since last week it was an increase of 12.8%. So let's see our three biggest losers of the week. 1991 Upper Deck Dominic Hashik Rookie Card. Ouch. I do have a few copies of this one. So January 6th, $121.50. Last week's sale, 100 bucks. Oh, I messed up the dates on this. It should be April 4th, but regardless, this week was $65.87. That is a huge drop, down 34% from last week. But I think 65 bucks for this card is a pretty good deal. Um, also in that good deal category, take a look at this one, 1990 Peachy Premier, Mike Madonna. So this is probably his most popular rookie card because Opeachy Premier seems to be the one everybody goes for in the hockey space. So January 6, 100 bucks. Last week, $75. This week, a sale of $50 and one penny. That's a great buy. Come on now. Down 33%, but 50 bucks for Mike Madonna rookie card. I think that's a pretty good buy. And 
88 tops. Mario Lemieux mint PSA nines. 56 bucks January 6. Last week was 67 dollars. This week 51 dollars. So down from last week 24 percent. 51 bucks. It's a pretty high pop in a mint nine, I believe. Uh, gem mint PSA tens. Super low pop. 88 tops. All right, let's see how everything stacks up to the other three sports. So hockey down. Big drop from the top. It was always leading for a while there. And basketball had another bad week as well. However, football and baseball are up. So they're sitting pretty good. 101.9, 101.6. So we'll get into those in the videos here later this week. All right, I track all this and I make all these indexes using the collections features of the Market Movers app. It's a pretty awesome tool if you want to check it out. There's a link in the description below and you can save 20% with the code JWI20. All right, let's get into our bonus cards. First up, from 1990 tops, we have a Joe Sackick second year card graded gem in PSA 10. Sold for $139.95. That's a record sale pretty huge record sale the previous high was nine dollars from october of 2019 this card in a gem mint slab is a pop of 13 it's crazy that you used to be able to buy these cards for nine or ten bucks or whatever but really three or four years ago you could pick up these well actually 1990 tops you can still pick up for next to nothing so you could have bought a hundred of these joe sackics and send them in send in just the best ones that you know are gonna gem mint and you could probably get these cards for pennies Grade them for six or seven bucks, sell them for nine or ten bucks, and you're still making ten, ten percent or something. And although it's not the five x, ten x that everybody's chasing nowadays, but that's not so much anymore. From 1992 upper deck, we have the Paul Korea World Juniors rookie card graded gem in BGS 9.5 and sold for forty dollars. Subgrades were ten for centering, nine point five for corners and surface, and a nine for edges. It's a pop of 298 in a gem in BGS slab, and there's five higher grade pristine BGS 10s. For comparisons, gem in PSA 10s sell for around 100 bucks, so I think this was a pretty good buy for a BGS. 89 Opeachy, we have Grant Fuhrer graded a gem in PSA 10, sold for $102.50. That's a record sale. The previous high from February of 2022, so a couple months ago, was $48, so... Definitely a big increase from then. I think this is a pretty good buy. It's a pop of only 24, so not too bad for a famous Hall of Famer Oilers goaltender here. 1994 Parkhurst Vintage. We have Mario Lemieux graded gem in PSA tensile for $72.99. So these vintage inserts were inserted one per pack and two per jumbo pack, so they're not very rare inserts. However, it was a 90 card insert set. So if you're going after a specific card like this Lemieux, you'd have to probably buy a few boxes. And a gem mint slab, this is a pop of only four, and this is the first sale on record. From 1994 Upper Deck, we have Wayne Gresky graded a pristine CSG 10. This card sold for $102.50. I think this was a great buy. The PSA 10 pop is only 20 and the last sale was in november for 202 dollars so you're getting a pristine copy here for half the price of a gem in psa 10 this is a csg pop one in a pristine slab and then this record breaker card of gresky is actually in the base set so it's not an insert so you can pull it just out of the base set so even though those pops are low i would think that they grow over time here from 1995 bowman we have the Shane Doan Rookie Card Refractor, Bowman's Best Rookie Card Refractor. Graded a gem in PSA 10, so for $169.99. This card is a Pop 1 and a gem mint slab, and this is the first sale of any grade. So these Bowman's Best Refractors were inserted into packs of 95 Bowman at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. Not a Hall of Famer, but potential down the road, so I think this was a pretty good buy. From 1993 Leaf, we have the Mario Lemieux autograph card numbered to 2000 in raw condition and it sold for a steal at $123.50. I hate the screw down holder because it can damage cards and potentially get cards sent back if you sent them in to get graded. They could get sent back as altered. 
because it can squ squish the edges. However, for this here, on card auto number 2000, raw condition, 123 bucks, I think it was a pretty good buy. Usually we see these in raw sell for 200 bucks or more. From 1991 Craft, we have this Steve Eiserman and Jean Bellevue graded a gem in PSA 10, sold for $59.17. This is the first sale on PSA's website of this card in any grade, and it's a pop of only eight in a gem in slab. From 1990 Bowman, we have Mike Madonna's rookie card graded gem in PSA 10, sold for $161.99. That's a record sale with the previous eye being $53 from July of 2021. It's a pop of only 43 in a gem mint slab. And just to let you guys know, there's a Bowman Tiffany version as well. And it's a pop one in a PSA 10. And there's been no sales on record. I think that one would be multiple times of this one here. So keep an eye out for those. I'm going to finish it up with a pretty awesome lot. I like finishing my bonus sections with cool lots. This one's a 1988 Opeachy and Tops complete set. All in raw condition except one graded Brett Hall. And it sold for $210. That's a pretty good deal, I would say. So the one graded card is the 88 Tops Brett Hall rookie card. And it's graded near mint mint plus BGS 8.5. It has all nine subgrades except a 7.5 for surface. So BGS 8.5 typically sell for around 50 60 bucks and then you got the other great cards in there so you have the 88 opichi version of brett hall's rookie card you have brennan shanahan rookie cards you got the gretzky opichi plus the gretzky sweater card in there i think this was a pretty good buy and two awesome sets to have in the old collection all right that's it for the video let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were if you haven't done so already, please take a second to hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support and it helps grow the channel. Also check out the affiliate links that we have in the description below. As mentioned, I've included links to search results on eBay for a lot of the boxes that are included in these lists. In addition, if you want to check out BCW Supplies, there's a link below and you can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And as mentioned before, if you want to check out the Market Movers app, you can save 20% on your first month subscription with the code JWI20. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.